Now here locally, we're going to be tracking those thunderstorms this evening and overnight, and that's going to bring an end to the real hot stuff that we've been dealing with. Here's the temperature trend over the last seven days. Aside from Monday, when we only had 81 degrees, the last six days have been 92 or better in Albany, 97 Wednesday, 96 Thursday, Friday, 93, 97 yesterday and today. Both days, by the way, breaking the old record of 96. Now we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. right around the immediate capital region back into the Catskills and the Adirondacks, also the Taconics. Here's the current radar, and what I want to do is uh, kind of zoom in a little bit and show you guys what's going on because we did get a severe thunderstorm watch issued for Schoharie and Western Albany County until 645 this evening. Uh, there have been reports as it moved north of Binghamton of uh, significant wind damage. Damage, and that's what we're going to be watching for with this particular storm. There's also the potential there could be some uh, penny sized hail. So it is heading eastward. If you're near South Gilboa, expect the storm to uh, be to you by 636 and Gilboa by 644. And this storm will continue off to the east. There has been some rotation. Uh, the last time that I, I uh, drew on this was a couple moments ago. It has now moved into central Schoharie County and also back into central Delaware County. Now this is up in the clouds, not anticipating any rotation reaching the surface, but it does go to show uh, that these storms are on the strong side this evening. 95 right now in Cohoes, Clifton Park still at 96 degrees. 84 in Dwaynesburg, Coble Skill 85, 94 in Voorheesville, Chatham again at 91, 89 North Adams in Williamstown at 88. Up to the north, a little bit cooler, 70s in the Adirondacks right now, 81 brought Albany to Johnstown where there is some rain showers moving through. Of course, very beneficial rain and this is not the only round of rain we'll be getting. We'll be getting several rounds of rain and perhaps some thunderstorms overnight tonight. We've got a weak little disturbance ahead of a cold front that's bringing the initial push of storms right now. More storms firing up on lake breeze boundaries. Those will be moving in overnight tonight and will be with us into tomorrow morning. This cold front here brings us the thunderstorm chances for tomorrow afternoon. Again, some of them could turn locally strong again. And then the breath of fresh air, high pressure building in for Tuesday and Wednesday temperatures back near seasonable levels. So for tomorrow, Storm Prediction Center does still have the area a marginal to slight risk. Best chance for any stronger storms does remain south and east of Albany, but some of the guidance coming in does have those storms initiating right near Albany. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on things for tomorrow. Now, as the evening continues to progress, here comes the line of showers and thunderstorms, and then we get a little bit of a break and notice after midnight, another line of some heavy thunderstorms developing central New York into the Adirondacks. These will be slowly sinking southward, so you may be woken up by a few rumbles of thunder early tomorrow morning. Here comes the front and there's that line of thunderstorms we'll have to watch by tomorrow afternoon into the early evening, but those get out of here and behind that much drier air will be working in for Tuesday. High temperatures tomorrow, 85 in Albany, 80 in Johnstown, 81 in Pittsfield, but it will be very humid tomorrow. Tuesday though, upper 70s, low 80s across the board and much less in the way of humidity. Tonight, 75 showers, maybe a thunderstorm, severe threat early, staying warm and muggy with those showers and storms continuing into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, 85, partly sunny and humid, showers and storms, some of them could turn strong. Beautiful Tuesday, 83, more clouds late in the day on Wednesday, mid 80s, back near 90 on Thursday with late day thunderstorms. Those carry us into Friday and then not too bad for the weekend, 83 Saturday, back into the upper 80s on Sunday. Michaela.